Well, I think um, if you uh, own a business that attempts to keep black people from renting from you, um, if you are reported to say that you don't want black people counting your money, uh, if you say, you know, uh, and not even report it, just come out and say uh, someone can't judge your case because they're Mexican, uh, if your response to the first black president is that they weren't born in this country, um, despite all proof, if you say they weren't smart enough to uh, go to uh, Harvard Law School and demand to see their grades, if that's the essence of your entire political identity, you might be a white supremacist. <laughs> It's just possible. I mean, I'm willing to have that debate and, and hear the other side, but, but you might be. And I think with Donald Trump, it's quite a bit. I wouldn't say George Bush is a white supremacist. Now, I have a hmm. lot of problems with George, Bush's, with George Bush's policies. I can make an argument for how they, you know, uh, affect black people in a negative way. Right. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't argue that he's a white supremacist. I wouldn't argue that Mitt Romney is a white supremacist. Donald Trump is a particular, specific thing. And I think there's quite a bit of evidence to back up the charge. In terms of the, the essential core of what, what he is doing. I don't think he's president without it. Right. I think that's, that's the huge difference. It's, it's just, it's not a side, you know, it's not like a, a Bush one, for instance, with Willie Horton, which was bad, by the way, right? But not necessarily definition, it's just a thing I gotta do in order to get over. It's the core of him. He began his career in birtherism. It wasn't on the way. That was the thing that got it started. That was what kicked it off. You know, and so I think in, in that sense, he's different.